LSU, but we also wanted to prove, improve the ESG aspects of the project. So the first thing we looked Very at was getting, getting rid of a roaster that was planned for taking out arsenic. And we managed to get rid of that through geometallurgical modeling. We could understand the arsenic better. We can do in-pit blending. We find it doesn't report to the con as much as was thought initially. And so we're, we're coming up with no roaster and we still get a con grade that you can see here, 26% copper, um, some nice gold, silver, and low arsenic. So you pay penalties in arsenic usually when it's over 1%. We would pay small penalties over the 0.5, but under under half percent, you're probably not paying any penalties. And if you are, they're, they're very minor. So that means we don't need the roaster. So that's our first thing on the ESG. Then what we also did is we managed to get um, a dry stack co-mingling of, and I'm just, um, sorry, this size is a little messy, but um, right. a single dry storage facility with co-placement and co-disposal of waste and then filtered tailings. So it's, it's, it's dry and that's coming away from, you know, previously a lot of mines were built with wet tailings. And those are the ones that end up sliding, unfortunately, if there's, you know, a disaster like, uh, you know, a dam leakage or, or some horrible rainfall or, or even an earthquake. So what we've managed to do is get rid of the roaster and now we've got this single dry storage facility of waste and filtered tailings. Um, so we've really improved um, the ESG aspects of, of the whole project. If you love that clip, give us a like. Then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.